Hello friends this is Dina from Vitish Academy and today in this presentation we are going to discuss about common roots of quadratic expressions so let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here so here given that if the quadratic equations ax square plus 2bx plus c is equal to 0 and ax square plus 2cx plus b is equal to 0 have the common roots then we have to show that a plus 4b plus 4c is equal to 0 so the condition for the two quadratic equations to have a common root is c1 a square minus a1 c2 whole square is equal to a1 b2 minus a2 b1 into b1 c2 minus b2 c1 so from the given quadratic equations we have the value of a1 as a b1 as 2b and the value of c1 is c and similarly from the second quadratic equation we have the values of a2 as a b2 as 2c and the value of c2 is b now let us substitute all these values in the formula so we get here c1 a2 which is c into a minus b into a whole square is equal to a1 b2 and it would be a into 2c minus a2 b1 and by substituting we get here a into 2b into b1 c2 which would be 2b into b minus 2c into c so we get this as ac minus ab whole square is equal to 2ac minus 2ab into 2b square minus 2c square and here in the next step we can write ac minus ab whole square as a square into c minus b whole square and coming over to the right hand side by taking here 2a as a common factor we get 2a into c minus b into again by taking 2 as a common factor over here we get 2 into b square minus c square and again in the next step we can write this as a square into c minus b whole square can be written as c minus b into c minus b so we get here c minus b into minus of b minus c is equal to 2a into c minus b into 2 into b square minus c square would be b plus c into b minus c so we can cancel over here b minus c on the both sides similarly the terms c minus b and a also get cancelled on the both sides and then we get here minus a is equal to 4 into b plus c that implies we get here minus a is equal to 4b plus 4c now let us transfer minus a to the other side then we get here a plus 4b plus 4c is equal to 0 which is the required condition So this was a basic introduction on common roots of the quadratic expressions. Hope you understood the concept. In our next videos, we are going to discuss about maximum and minimum values of quadratic equation. So stay tuned with us. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.